Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the New Testament in a year. I hope that you have uh, joined us in this uh, exciting, exciting reading plan uh, for 2023. I got Jordan Miller with me this morning. Hey, you good doing? morning. Doing wonderful. Outstanding. How are you doing? Are you are you like in this? Are you in the deal? I am. I mean, spending time in God's Word is always always a blessing, and yeah. I think um, there's something every you know. Even though I've read this part of Scripture many yeah. times, you get something new each time you get into it. Exactly so. right. So I'm I'm doing good after 14 days. Uh, I started off strong last year though, and <laughs> yep. quickly failed. So, but I'm strong 14 days in. So, so uh, last week, mm-hmm. um, the first two days were kind of wrapping up the Sermon on the Mount, and then uh, some of Jesus' healing. We got all the way uh, through the end of chapter 10. So, uh, was was there any verses? And and you know, when we get to the Sermon on the Mount, like that's, every verse there, the, yeah. Gold. If that's Jesus' words, it's it's mostly red letters, right? So he's talking to us and. All of that is good. All is good. But is there anything that really stuck out to you? Yeah. I, you know, this is where he introduces the Lord's Prayer kind yeah. of for the first time. And people are asking him how we should pray. Um, and when we really think about prayer, I think it's a lot of times something maybe we just do or something that our parents taught us. But what he's talking about here is really spending time with God. And as we read God's Word, this is the conversation that we have with God. And that's really unique when we think about, yes, I can hear what God is saying through the yeah. words that we read. And then prayer is, he wants to hear from us as well. Yeah. Even though he knows what we're thinking, he still wants us to go and spend time with him uh, in prayer. And then the biggest section for, for me and my family, um, something I try to impress on my wife, something I try to impress on my kids is do not worry. Don't worry. Right? There's so much anxiety around. There's so yeah. many things to worry about. Um, but he says uh, right here, seek first his kingdom. Do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough of its own trouble. Man, you know, and if we just take those little nuggets, I mean, yeah. whether you're a Christian or not, right? I mean, those are just, those are just words to live by, right? Absolutely. I, and I think science says worrying takes years off your life. It does. Just don't worry. You can't change it anyway. No. Right? And and specifically for us as Christians, you know, we know who's in charge of tomorrow. We know we, we know how the story ends. Yeah, and creator of all things, right? He takes care of birds. Exactly he takes right. care of flowers. He talks about it. He'll certainly take care of us. Exactly. Beautiful verses from, I think, Matthew 6, right? Yep, Sermon Matthew 6. Uh, and, and I would say mine is from that Sermon on the Mount too. Uh, actually, the very end, kind of the way Jesus uh, concludes the Sermon on the Mount, it's beautiful. He, he, he says in, in, uh, in 724, Therefore, whoever hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who build his house on a rock. But but if you hear these words of mine, don't put them on, uh, into practice. You're like a, a foolish man. Mm-hmm. And, and then and then Jesus says this. He says, here's what's going to happen. The rain's going to fall. The streams are going to rise. And the wind is going to blow and beat against the house. Well, whose house? Everybody's house. Everybody. Right? Christians, non-Christians, people who read the word and put it into practice, people who read the word and don't put it into practice. Here's the deal. We live in a fallen world. The, it, it is The wind is going to blow. The rain is going to fall. The wind is going to blow and beat against our house. Here's the difference. Are we going to be able to stand? And the way we stand is if we have built our life on the truth of the gospel. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, we got a great week coming up. We are going to be uh, in Matthew chapter 11 uh, through Matthew chapter 14. Uh, so uh, we'll see you next Monday. Keep reading. God's blessing. Have a great week.